This is my channel, Death by Hook. Today we're going to be doing some hand poured swim baits. Today we're going to be doing some um, bigger swim baits. And I have like a lot of leftover sprues and colors that I didn't use. So I'm just going to melt them all up. I like to call these kamikazes. And I'm going to pour them into um, swim baits that I can use in the ocean. So we're just going to remelt all this old stuff like this. And we're going to pour it into these swim baits. And whatever comes out, comes out. And it, it, it usually works pretty good in the ocean, so we should be all right. All right. Stay tuned. All right. So we're just going to take a bunch of these, and we're going to put it in here for about three or four minutes. We'll check the temperature. Awesome. Well, my batteries are dead. So, I'm just going to kind of go off of the consistency. And this looks pretty good. This is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and just pour a small layer of this brown. in the bellies like that. Alright, so now we'll put our next color in. Uh, I think I'm going to do these purples and reds for the spoon. Put them in for two minutes. Alright, so it's about 327 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of this in the center of these swim baits just to give it a little bit of a different look like I said this is I'm just burning up old sprues and leftover material that I didn't use so instead of having it here I'm just gonna make some ocean swim baits bigger swim baits So there we go. Now we're going to top it off with whatever this color comes out to be. Put that in there. Put it in for three minutes. 
killed one, so I gotta go through my screws and find some more. So you can eliminate stuff, you know, extra stuff that you didn't use pretty easily in other bigger swim baits for different situations. So a lot of this, it never goes to waste. see what they look like you know after we pull them out all right so we got this Ooh, it's real hot it's like 400 degrees so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we mix this pretty good so it came out like a Almost like a silver green, but we'll see how far this goes. Well, it looks like I ran out there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reheat this. Maybe it's better. So we only got two, we got four swim baits with that combination. We got a little bit in that one, but we still have this. So we'll see how it goes. Seven. We want it to be a little bit hotter than that. Actually, it's just 350 after you swish it around a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use this stuff up. Oop. I think that's how I'm going to start in the tail and work my way out. So now we're done with that. So now we just gotta wait, see what they come out like. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. And maybe put this in there. Again, these are kamikazes. Really doesn't matter what they look like. I'm gonna use them when I go out in the ocean. Whatever happens, happens. Usually they work pretty good out in the ocean though. Jig them off my kayak. So, it's actually pretty cool. Still hot. 
So we have to let these dry for maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes before we can pull them out. All right, let's see if we can peel one out. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one. And this is just hand pour silicone mold that I bought from somebody on Facebook. And this is what we got. So it's got a little bit of a red, green, brown belly. Not bad. And let's peel. This one should be pretty similar. Ooh, it's still warm. I don't want to break that tail, so I'm going to try to help it out a little bit. All right. So these are 9 inch swim baits. And these are just leftover sprues, you know, popular colors. You know, ox blood, uh, green pumpkin, watermelon, and then I like to put a lot of um, purplish lines in uh, in mine. This is just a fluke, which turned out all brown, so I'll still use that. And here's a different type of bait that we like to throw when we go deep sea fishing. It's got a little red line, green top with a brown. Not bad for some kamikaze baits. Here we go. There's another one. And last but not least, we got these big daddies. Ooh, looks like those aren't ready yet. Those are still not ready. So we'll wait on those. So this is what these swim baits kind of look like. Like I said, these are silicone moles. I usually use these for deep sea fishing. But not bad for just a bunch of leftover stuff. You know, that way nothing goes to waste. All right, we're continuing our kamikaze mix. So we're gonna go ahead and pour some more swim baits. We only have two colors left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour all the bellies with this crazy mix that looks off whitish. So I'll pour all the bellies of these. So there we go. Now we just gotta wait on the green to set up. Ooh, that's dark. This is 400 degrees, so we gotta wait for this to set up a little bit more before we can pour that. Otherwise, it'll just mix. If that's the effect you're looking for, that's the effect you know you can get. But these are ready to pull out. Ooh. So that's what those big daddies look like. Leftover brown turd nugget. <laughs> but 
Believe it or not, they will bite that. I'm going to do the same with this. All right. So this green's about 364 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and try to pour that in. Mm, looks like it's mixing a little bit, but that's okay. Like I said, these are kamikazes. We're not too worried about what they look. As long as, long as they got some definite color. And that's it. We're all out of that. All right. So, looks like all my leftover sprues are almost used up. We're going to put that in there so that can melt. And just so it could break it up a little bit since we don't have a, a lot of color in this, I think I'm going to throw some purple in this. See if we could get it to take on a different tone. So we'll do some black and purple. We'll mix it up. Oh yeah, that changed it. That gave it a real bluish tone to it. So there we go. So we got a real dark blue, which I would have preferred more black, but hey, we'll take it. We'll do a little something a little different with the last of it. So now we got teal blue color and we're going to pour that on top of this just to give it, just to give it a different look. 
just to mess around. Ooh, looks like that wasn't ready yet. It was still hot. But it's all good. So we might get a little bit of a mixture, but it's okay. Like I said, when you're making ocean baits, I mean, you'd be surprised what you throw out there and those fish bite. They're still too fresh, we'll come back in 10 minutes. All right, let's check it out. Let's see how these came out. I think they're almost ready. Let's do these first. Ooh, these are still warm. So, so we got a, that blue we added to that, I don't know, belly there. It's interesting. And let's see what the green ones came out like. So these are like green pumpkin, you know, with like a beige bottom on them. Not too bad. I, I like that. Gonna go ahead and put the stuff on the All right, so these are some of the kamikaze baits we made. A um, couple different colors here. So, I mean, that's what I do with my leftover stuff. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. So, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like I said, it's just me messing around the shop. I had a bunch of leftover sprues, leftover plastic from other jobs we did. So I wanted just to get rid of it, and that's what I do. I make ocean um, plastics with it, and when I go deep sea fishing, I slap these on, and, man, we get lean cod and rock cod and all kinds of cool stuff out there. So if you have any leftovers, there you go. You can pour them up and make some really cool stuff. Let's do fish all day. Let's go to the bay and get a death by hook. I'm taking the boat to the pier, I got no fear, I'm living it up, I'm filling it up, I got a bucket of fish, that's by hook, got still feels away, let's go fish.